Welcome back everybody to Dark Souls Remastered, where we have just slain the Black Dragon Kalamit, and I'm gonna see if Hawkeye has anything to say about it. Ah, thou hast defeated Kalamit? Wondrously played. Lord Gwyn's blessing upon me. That beast will never take to the skies again. The dragons shall never be forgotten. We knights fought valiantly, but for every one of them, we lost three score of our own. Exhilaration, pride, hatred, rage. The dragons teased out our dearest emotions. Thou will understand one day. If our twilight Old thoughts return, and great waves of nostalgia. Ah, this great bow? I shan't need it, but no dragons to hunt. I know not if a human could even operate it. But here, I need outweighs mine. Goes great bow. Ah, do not... Alright. Farewell, proud human. May every honor be bestowed upon thee. What a nice guy. Let's take a look at his bow. Uh, we have so many shields. Ghost great bow, which we can use. No, we can't. We don't have enough dexterity. Great bow used by Hawkeye Go of Lord Gwyn's Four Knights for Dragon Slay. This bow is larger than even those used by the famed dragon slayers. Only their leader, Go, had the strength to handle it. Yep, he was the leader of the dragon slayers. He was pretty good at it too, as we saw. I'm so happy I found the, uh, the ability to slide down railings like that. So helpful! And actually with that, we have completed the DLC. We have done everything we can do uh, outside of killing NPCs and doing uh, PvP in the arena here, which we won't be doing. So now, I'm gonna level up first, and then I'm gonna take y'all to on a normal, normal field trip to somewhere we have no real reason to go. Other than it allows us to take another adventure. So there, as I mentioned before, there are a lot of optional areas in Dark Souls. Uh, I use about four. All right, now let us work. We need to go, actually, to Firelink. Yeah. So I don't recall on my first playthrough if I came across this organically or not. Uh, I, uh, something in my brain tells me that like I knew. Oh. Very well. Oh. Okay. Bye. Framp is sleeping, which is fine. We don't need to wake him. So this is a, a trope that happens a lot in Dark Souls games, but jumping off elevators. Uh, Bloodborne, is, I'd say, is the largest offender of that trope. Oh, the chest down there, and I believe I know what that has. I think that has the Void's Talismans in it. Um, but yeah, jumping off of elevators in Souls games. And actually, there's, uh, I'd say, Bloodborne is absolutely the biggest defender, but crawl up like a ball. Uh, I remember, I think in my first playthrough ever, I found this, and I crawled up like a ball, and I was like, this is weird. Okay, like, and I just walked away and didn't come back, and I was like, that has to be something. But I couldn't figure it out. So you have to sit here for a while. Like, the cutscene will play soon enough, but it's, it's long enough to where... You're, it kind of makes you start questioning if you're in the right place or doing doing it right. And here we come. Uh, 
here comes the the giant crow that brought us to Lordran to begin with. And bringing us back where we started. At the Undead Asylum. And as you can see, uh, the inmates are running the asylum now, literally, uh, since I've basically killed the jailer. Oh my. And, uh, is it here? It's down here. No, it's up here. Uh, there is a little buddy. This is Snuggly the Crow. So Snuggly, also that's a nice uh, JPEG back there. Look at that. Where is that from? Who took this picture? I'm trying to see if it's like flipped or anything. Eh, no, it doesn't look like it. Um, Snuggly, you can actually trade items in for other items. Um, with, you know, exceptions. Uh, so if you give him rubbish, give him or her rubbish, Snuggly. It's Snuggly. Uh, if you give Snuggly rubbish, you will get a gold coin in return. Actually, I have come back here for two reasons. One, there's an item I need here. So that I can show, show you all one of the Again, more interesting areas of the game. And I want to demonstrate or show you that uh, we've been teased something for a while, since the beginning of the game, that we will now get a chance to encounter. So if you remember, at the very beginning of the game, we got to see this guy stomping around. Yes, you could see him at the very beginning of the game. Oh, I forgot about you, friend. There we go. A red titanite chunk. He was guarding this. This is our old cell, by the way. The Peculiar Doll. So what the hell is the Peculiar Doll? I'm not sure if it's a key item or not. Yes, it is. Peculiar Doll. A strange doll in strange dress. There once was an abomination who had no place in this world. She clutched this doll tightly and eventually was drawn into a cold and lonely painted world. Spoiler. We will be going to that painted world is actually known as the Painted World of Ariamis. And that abomination, we'll get a chance to talk to him, actually. I'm not going to spoil the name or the identity of that abomination just yet. Who's scurrying? Oh! I killed you. So do you remember this gentleman from the very beginning of the game? He was the guy who gave us the SS class. And I think the game just kind of forgot that I had slain him. Um, so here he has actually gone hollow. <laughs> the fat roll. And down he goes. Slain technically once more. Crest shield. I don't believe the crest shield is anything. Do I already have a crest shield? No crest shield. Shield of a nameless knight, likely a high ranked knight of a store. One of the enchanted blue shields, the crest shield greatly reduces magic and damage. Let's just hit that. There's also. I believe. 
Have I gotten it yet? Is it over here? Oh, it's up there. Yeah, I see the item up there. I'm gonna go get that. You thought you could get me again, didn't you? Oh, how far we've come. Invincibility frames are just so helpful. Hollow Soldier Waste Claw. I don't have this key. Where is that key? Huh. I'm shocked I don't have it. Huh, whatever. Not a big deal. But, we must make our way down to our friend. This is literally just an upgraded version of the Asylum Demon. He operates very similarly. And actually a lot like the Demon Fire Sage I came across in uh, Demon Rooms. All I gotta do is just kind of work around him, hit his butt a couple times. Is he bugged? And that's it. So we are a bit over leveled for this area. A titanite slab. Wow, I'm being treated. And then, once we have inspected the area, we can just leave. Just that easy. Notice the the massive disparity in the amount of souls I just received. And, but being, we are near our original cell. out of here again. And now, we need to make our way back to Anorlando. Where is Anorlando? For the ones who've been paying attention this whole time, do you have any idea where we might be going? based on the context that I've given for the Peculiar Doll and uh, what might be coming. I mentioned it before that the area we're going uh, is located in this area. I believe I actually physically touched or attempted to touch the thing uh, that we are interested in. To, uh, I forgot there's no there's no turn key here I actually have to physically go all the way around and mess with it that's unfortunate I could uh, no so I was just thinking I could basically warp to the uh, the bonfire near where the illusion of Guinevere was, um, but this is just as good. I'm not sure what's making the thudding noise, but to be honest, I'm not sure I appreciate it. If anyone is afraid of heights, 
Now is the time to look away. To be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of heights. But we must do what we must do. Oh, come on. Oh, that was almost bad. I was almost betrayed. <laughs> Bye. Basically, the, the collision detection of the game. Uh, since I got hit and died, I was almost destroyed and had to fall. Oh, someone's behind me. Yep. You snuck up on me. Here we go. Now I believe I need to turn you down one notch. So I can get to where I'd like to go. It might require one more twist. Not quite sure. Nope, we're good. Now remember what these guys were called. These white robed individuals. These are the painting guards. They're not particularly tough, but they are scaled to basically be as tough as it should be whenever you come here initially into Animal Bombo. And, uh, you know, I just. I'm strong enough to kill Knight Artorius. Painting Guardian Sword. Or Painting Guard Sword, I should say. Let's take a look at it. Might provide some insight to us. Painting Guard Sword. Curved Sword of an Orlando Painting Guards. Unique shape with flat tip. The guardians who strike down those who dare threaten the paintings attack in a continuous circular dancing motion, a technique passed down through generations. Again, alluding that this has been here for a long time. Sorcery Great Magic Weapon. Wow, I just got backstabbed by an NPC. Wow. Congratulations. And this is our destination. The great painting of Ariamis. Which is what all these people are, are guarding. We find the black iron set. Full black iron Tarkus Gear. Which do we have that already? Did we buy some off of, of uh, Iron Tarkus previously? Where is it? Okay, here we go. Black Iron. Helm of Black Iron Tarkus, a knight known for his great strength. Built for a special black iron of the special black iron and providing strong defense, notably against fire, but so terribly heavy to be unyieldy to anyone but Tarkus himself. And then we also have his sword, the Black Iron. This is a great sword, yeah. Very few have have what it takes to wield this incredibly heavy, damage-dealing monster. A favorite of the Knights Berenique, known for their heavy armor, and Black Iron Tarkus. So yes, Black Iron Tarkus is a Knight Berenique. And then give me the Great Shield. The Great Shield is a tower shield. Great Shield of the Mighty Knight Tarkus, built of special black iron and even heavier than the Knight Berenique's tower shield, especially resistant to fire and effective for shield bashing. So yes, this is a huge shield, does not it does offer 100% physical damage reduction and 90% fire damage reduction. Um, so that would be something that we could have used against Kalamit pretty effectively in that first phase. Uh, however, this is where I'm going to end this episode. 
But I want to thank all of you so much for watching. And next episode, we're going to do this action. We're going to examine the painting and see what happens. So I'll talk to all of you later. Alrighty. See ya! Keep rolling, 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 rolling. What? Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Yeah! Rolling, 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 rolling. I'd actually love to see if someone just make a an edit of Limb Biscuits rolling, but it's just say him saying rolling, 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 and it's like loops forever. Rolling, 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 rolling.